How did you celebrate Eid al-Fitr? What was the best iftar you had this Ramadan? Is, is anyone, did anyone celebrate Eid today? Yeah, there we go. Well, Eid Mubarak, you guys. Um, for those of you guys, that's good. For those of you guys who don't know, Eid is like our Christmas. <laughs> so it's fun, but obviously we don't get the day off. And <laughs> here we are. Uh, it was kind of whack, I'll be 100% honest. Like I went, to, I went to the mosque this morning, and then here I am, so. Yeah, it was, yeah, how was your Eid? Was it good? Yeah, you, I mean, you asked, the, you were like, that's my... Yeah, it was good. Where'd you, where'd you go? I went to the mosque in the morning, and then we had breakfast at McDonald's. You ate during the day? That's the best part. <laughs> Where you're just like, water. <laughs> you're like, I can think like a normal person. Um, what was the best iftar you had? So what's that? Like, what would that? Um, like, kebabs and shawarma. Okay. It's the best iftar I had. I was at work a lot, so it was pretty depressing. It was, like, seamless. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a better answer. Uh, yeah, that was probably the best iftar I had. <laughs> it's really sad. Okay, we're going to edit this out. This is, getting, <laughs> this is, like, making me, like, reassess my life. <laughs> If you could rewind life back to a point in time of your choice to relive those moments, what time of your, of your life would you choose? It's from Jay. Wow, it's, is Jay here? Damn, Jay. Jay's here? Is that you? Oh, I thought you were like, it's over there. Uh, okay. What time would it be? My life's pretty good right now. I, I like it right now. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. I'd want to time travel. That'd be dope. Yeah. <laughs> really? Really? Is that why you, you asked this question? I would love to, but what, is, what time period would you want to go back to? Well, everybody says ancient Greece was like the, the peak moment of human civilization. Why are you guys laughing at that part? I would want to see, like, all right, what's like, let's see what's good. I, I would really. Well, what would peak your life from time? Peak moment of my life? Mm, I would say. Do you guys remember like in elementary school when that whenever they'd be like there'd be like holiday parties, there'd be like a Halloween party? So like Miss Anderson would be like, there's no class today. We're just doing a Halloween party. And you'd be like, ah! Or like um, or like remember the day, remember when they would they would they would you would like come to school? Because you didn't know what was gonna happen, you just go to school. And then remember like when it was like during winter time and they'd be like, today we're just making gingerbread houses. Yeah, th those like that day was awesome. You know what I'm talking about, right? You would make a gingerbread house and you eat like half of it and then it'd just be in your house and it'd just be stale. It would just be sitting there for like three weeks and you're like, this is just a half-eaten gingerbread house. Did I just experience that or did we all have gingerbread house day? You remember gingerbread house day? Yeah. Yeah. That, I would do gingerbread house day every day. That's what I wish eat, like I wish we had that for Eid. I've made this like commitment where I'm like, I've told like my wife, I'm like, we gotta make Eid fun, we gotta make it super cool, but like our holidays are not fun. <laughs> we have to figure something out. We need a dreidel, we need toys, we need stuff. We, there has to be some sort of like marketing thing around it. It can't just be like milk and dates. <laughs> you know what I mean? We need capitalism, we need to, you know what I mean? We gotta make it, what do you think? What do we gotta do? We need a mascot. We need a Santa. First things first, we need a, we need something. The moon? Ah. That's the thing, because we can't draw, like there's no drawings, right? There's no statues, there's no drawings. So it has to be our imagination, but you need. So the moon would be a character. Then we, you all, like, I'm trying to think. Gingerbread mosque, that'd be weird. <laughs> like, how, we need a thing. Jenny, what'd you do for Christmas? Christmas must have been super poppin'. Christmas, you, yeah, I mean, presents and then, you know, family. I remember Christmas was so sad for me. Because you have, you have the holiday, and then you, like, go to your neighbors, and you're like, ding dong, and, like, Chris is like, oh, I'm with my grandma. Like, we're opening presents. So, like, nobody, like, everything's closed, and nobody can come out and play. So you're just like, all right. Yeah, you have to wait till, like, the 27th. There's like set a 72 hour delay, it's a bummer.
All right, so no Greece. What, time, what period of time would you go back to? <sighs> Think about it. Any, you can go back any time. High school? <laughs> what year of high school? What year of high school was good? Uh, junior year was great. Junior year? <laughs> what? <laughs> you hear that, bro? There's a mutiny. There's a full on mutiny. Dude, it's Sudan is happening right here, right now to you. They're about to topple you like Omar al Bashir. They're like, Junior year? <laughs> Who are you not studying? Last, no, you're so wrong. Last, <laughs> last two weeks of senior year are probably the best. Yeah. Nothing matters. I would say, I would say, best time is second semester senior year, summer before you go to college. Yes. The best time. Yes. So poppin'. You're old enough to leave the house. Hopefully you have like some form of like, you know, you can like, you have some disposable income, right? Like some, you know what I mean? You cannot drive or leave with friends. Like, you think life is hard, but it's not hard at all. <laughs> no expectations. <sighs> I would go back and live those like six months. Oh my God, the best. Yeah. And there was no Netflix during that window of my, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I would have just like, can you imagine being second semester senior year now? <laughs> just plug into the matrix and watch everything. Your second semester senior year. <laughs> what a time to be alive. <laughs> Is it, it what's, uh, what are you doing during this time? We're here. You're here on a Tuesday. <laughs> That's amazing. How did you guys get in? This is this supposed to be 18 and over, right? We are 18. You guys are 18 too? <laughs> you guys are like invincible. There's nothing that can stop you. Oh my God. That's amazing. What are you guys doing after this? You're going back to, what do you mean you're going back to school? Tomorrow. I know, but what are you doing after this? Now, I'm not gonna hang out with you guys. I'm saying what, <laughs> what thing, what feels, what, like what feels, can I tell you what I used to do? Seventh period, I'd get out of calculus AB, I'd get home, I'd take my 91 Nissan stanza, get home, open the door, no one's at home. I would take a fucking nap. I would nap <laughs> from 3.30 to 6.30, insanity. Get up. I would go work at Office Max, because I had a job at Office Max. I would not do homework, because nothing mattered. Yeah, and then I would, next day. Yeah. It's the same. Yeah. Tomorrow's cut day? <laughs> Both days are cut day? That's awesome. Do you guys like adulthood? Really? Do you know there's some moments in adulthood that's, that's really cool, though? Like, uh, say what? Not turning 21, like, okay, so. Uh, I mean, I didn't drink, so it wasn't like, when people were like, 21, it wasn't like a thing. But um, I remember like, uh, me and uh, me and Bita, we went to the movie theaters the other, the other day. We went to go see Aladdin, because you just have to. And <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like, you're going, right? And uh, we went to go see Aladdin, and then I was like, hey, do you, do you want to get popcorn? She was like, yeah. And I'm like, I have like, I can just buy popcorn. <laughs> like my, my mom's not gonna stop me. Like no one's gonna be like, that was $8. <laughs> You're not bringing popcorn. I didn't have to like sneak anything in. And it was crazy. It was like, yeah, let's get popcorn. It was badass. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying. It was like a real, it was a moment. Registered trademark, it was a fucking moment. I was like, we, we're doing this. And I'm like, oh man, it was crazy. I knew I was being ripped off, like all of it. It was great, I was an adult, I could just do it. What's another cool adult thing? Oh, <laughs> we were like, we were, the other day we were like walking and you know how adults do. No, but we were like, um, <laughs> we were like holding hands and I saw, we saw like an older like auntie and uncle that were, they were walking past us. So we dropped hands. <laughs> Dude, we're married and we dropped hands. 
<laughs> we're like this, we're like. Doo, doo, doo. <laughs> yeah, it was over by, um, over by Lincoln Center, yeah. <laughs> we're like, what if they tell on us? <laughs> what if they know our parents? <laughs> and then I was like, I can hold your hand in public. <laughs> we're adults. You still gotta hide it, right? Huh? Maybe? Yeah, you definitely have to hide it. I mean, this is gonna be on YouTube, but you definitely... <laughs> Sorry, bro. Sorry, dog. All right. What is the biggest lie you've told your parents? What is the biggest lie you've told your parents? <laughs> that you're at school? How do you feel about that many Indian kids winning the spelling bee this year? <laughs> it was six boys and two girls. Did you know that? They're called the Octo Champs. It's so weird. OK, you guys, you guys want to, can I quiz you on the words? No. All right, here we go. All right, here, spell it. This is one of the winning words, Ocelot. That's her. Yes. Are you Indian? Yeah. You have to spell it. <laughs> Yeah. I have no idea. Uh, Just do spell it. O S L O T? No. <laughs> Ocelot. Starts with an A. I'm going to give that. I'll start with an A. <laughs> Damn. That was way off. A S? No. Okay. Okay. A U. Yes. L A. Yes. Close, L-A-U-T. I take that, uh, you got it. <laughs> yeah, you got it, you got it. This is insane. Erysipelas? E-R-Y-S-I-P-E-L-A-S, you knew that? Yeah. How? I'm a doctor. What is it? What is it, what is erysipelas? Okay, fine, you do this next one. <laughs> Bougainvillea. What? I'm not lying. Look. Here, look. Here. B-O-U-G-E-N. Spell it, go, go, go. B-O-U-G-A-I-N-V-I-L-L-E-A. -E <laughs> but when you look at it, you're like, of course, Bougainvillea. When you look at it, <laughs> You're totally, you're like, oh, that totally, and I'm showing it to you as if you could see it. <laughs> oh, did your family ever follow any weird superstitions growing up? Okay, I, okay, did you guys, uh, did you guys, did your parents tell you guys, like, every culture has this, like, um, like ghost stories, like gin story, we call them gin. Did they ever tell you, like, those crazy, like, ghost stories? What'd you guys call them? What's it called? It's it's cuckoo. Oh, it's almost like the boogie man. Yeah, yeah. Cuckoo. But is it is it like a, is it like a ghost or it's like an actual? It's, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing it could be like ghost. Basically, it's like they call it cuckoo because it, it looks like the cocoa, which is coconut. Uh huh. You've seen the coconut? It's kind of like it looks like a face. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, and then like, do you do you for real kind of believe it? I used to. I used to. <laughs> Like, like, they would tell me these weird stories that are like, uh, it'd be like, uh, okay, so don't go to the woods and fall asleep underneath trees, because cause gin will come out. <laughs> yeah, right? What does that mean? Was it, what is it? Yeah, at night. Don't go into the woods underneath trees and fall asleep. What is that? <laughs> And, and, and then I talk, like, I, I would talk it through with my friends, and I'm like, maybe what it is is trees emit, don't they emit carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide? Yes! <laughs> so I was trying to justify it in my mind. That's how they got people to be like, don't do that at night, because trees will, like, if you're in the woods, they'll emit large amounts of carbon dioxide, and it could poison you, right? Yeah. That's the way I'm trying to reason something that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> but do you kind of believe it, though? Because sometimes I'd, like, ask my, I would ask my grandparents, and be like, is that real? And they'd be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The other way around. Yeah. Yeah. At night? 
They take, no, 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 but at night, don't they? Look this up, there's something that happens that, this isn't part of the Sudan episode, so I don't have to be right. I can speak purely in hyperbole. Yeah, do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in ghosts? My thing is, is like, don't, I would never test it. <laughs> you know what I mean? When people are like, do you really believe that? And I'm like, I'm just not gonna test it. <laughs> like at sleepovers, do you ever have like those friends that are just like, oh, we'll go in the bathroom and scream Bloody Mary three times. I'm like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Brian's like, let's do it. I'm like, dude, nope. Brian, I'm trying to live, man. <laughs> That's my thing. I don't know, but I'm just not gonna, like, yeah. I'm just not gonna press it. Casper? <laughs> Bro, that's not real. <laughs> huh? I don't know, man. By definition, ghosts are kind of spooky. They like, they <laughs> pop up out of nowhere. They don't respect your personal space. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm super profiling ghosts. <laughs> I'm super ghost phobic. Like, I'll put it on the record. I know it's problematic, but like, I'm not. I'm, I'm not trying to, no, that's like, no. Would you give ghosts a chance? Uh, yeah. Would you give the coconut man a chance? <laughs> no, assume that it's real. Would you give co the coconut? If, if you actually believe, then you may be able to see it, and other people that believe might be able to see it, but if you don't believe, you don't see it. It's the way that our brain works. If, you, if I tell you to close your eyes, and I describe your favorite food, your uh -huh. smile will start to salivate. If a woman thinks she's pregnant, her body She's not gonna be pregnant. That's, just, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. Bro, you're describing, what, what are you talking about? Dude, you had me. You so had me up until the end. I don't think you know how pregnancy works, though. 